Here comes a mental math thriller. It says, which contains the largest number of atoms? Here's where your dimensional analysis skills are really going to help you out. Let's start with option A. I'm going to use the density equation. Boom. Plug in the density. Plug in the milliliters. And solve for the mass in grams. Again, I don't have a calculator. So 1.2, three times. 1.2, 2.4, 3.6 grams. Now, that's grams of CH3OH. I want to know how many atoms I've got here. I'm first going to convert to moles. As I come up with my molar mass, again, I'm just going to estimate. Carbon is about 12, each hydrogen is about 1, and oxygen is about 16. So 12 plus 16, 28 plus 4, 32 grams. Now, for moles of CH3OH, I'm going to go to moles of atoms. Now, for every mole of CH3OH, how many moles of atoms do I have? Well, I've got one mole of carbon, four moles of hydrogen, and one mole of oxygen for a total of six moles of atoms. All right, now let's do some math. 3.6 times one, 3.6, divided by 32, I don't know. But I do know that that's gonna be about a 10th of a mole. Three out of 30 would be a 10th, or 3.2 out of 32 would be exactly a 10th. Times six means that I've got about 0.6 moles of atoms. All right, that was the trickiest one. Let's move on to option B. In B, we've got 3.0 moles of CO. I'm gonna go from moles of CO to moles of atoms. Every one mole of CO, I've got two moles of atoms. I've got a mole of carbon and a mole of oxygen, which means that in my three moles of carbon monoxide, I've got six moles of atoms. So between A and B, I can already tell that B is the one that's got the largest number of atoms between the two. Let's keep going. Option C, we've got 3.0 grams of water. I'm gonna convert this sucker to moles. Again, I'm gonna estimate a mole of water is about 18 grams. Then I'm gonna go from moles of water to moles of atoms. For every mole of water, three moles of atoms, two moles of hydrogen atoms, one mole of oxygen atoms. All right, so let's come up with an answer here. Three times one times three is nine. Over 18, over 18 times one, which is 18. Nine over 18, we've got here about 0.5 moles of atoms. So once again, B is our leading contender for the option with the largest number of atoms. Finally, we've got 3.0 times 10 to the 22 molecules of nitrogen gas. Don't forget that nitrogen is one of those diatomics. Converting this time, I'm gonna go 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules in one mole. And then for every mole of nitrogen, we're gonna have two moles of atoms. All right, so how are we gonna do some math when we have numbers in scientific notation. 3.0 times 10 to the 22 times one times two, that is gonna be 6.0 times 10 to the 22. In the denominator, we're gonna have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 times one, which I'm gonna say is six times 10 to the 23. Now, when you divide two numbers in scientific notation, you divide the coefficients, six divided by six, one times 10, what do you do with your exponents? Subtract 22 minus 23, is 10 to the negative one. Now that's also equal to 0 0.1 moles of atoms. So as we compare between our four answer choices, 0 0.6, 6, 0 0.5, and 0 0.1, answer choice B is the clear winner here. This is the one with the greatest number of atoms, hands down.